in this chapter, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce to you uh, what is the Korea's public diplomacy asset uh, in, in, in detailed way. Uh, I titled this chapter, you know, From Arirang and Hongi Gingan to BTS. Uh, you know, uh, I can say there are many uh, different uh, public diplomacy asset uh, for Korea, but I can categorize, uh, you know, this asset in several ways. First, uh, cultural, uh, second, uh, economic area, third, uh, uh, political area. Uh, the next is uh, like a diplomatic area. And finally, uh, you know, Korean people itself. So with those uh, roughly uh, five categories, um, I will explain to you. Of course, you know, this is not a way to just uh, like a propaganda type of thing, uh, or you know, uh, to 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 give uh, like pride on Korea. Uh, rather, I'd like to uh, explain to you the, the the concept of all that Korea. You know, what what uh, we uh, we have achieved, and at the same time, uh, what is the character of Korean people? You know, uh, how those good character of Korean people has been affecting those achievements that uh, we, we are now enjoying uh, in economic, political, and diplomatic area. So uh, this is uh, the purpose of this uh, particular chapter. Uh, you know, naturally, uh, I'd like to start with cultural aspect because uh, Actually, in reality, this area is an area where many foreign uh, people, particularly young people, uh, you know, get to know Korea with this particular, you know, door, I can say. Uh, of course, you know, K-pop is uh, one most important uh, door gate uh, that uh, many foreign people, particularly young people, uh, is, is happening to know Korea and, and Korean culture and Korean people. Uh, so in, in that context, I think a cultural aspect is always important in public diplomacy area uh, because this is quite easy and quite natural and quite uh, influential and uh, it's emotional. So uh, it will make uh, many uh, people uh, from different world to uh, engage uh, quite quickly and naturally and voluntarily. So uh, I think it has a very important power uh, in uh, public diplomacy area, particularly for Korea. Uh, we, we didn't have any intention or we didn't imagine that the uh, all Korean people or, you know, uh, entertainment businessmen uh, will see such a success in K-pop. Um, so in, in, in first phase in K-pop, you know, I've been working as a director for cultural affairs in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, I've been dealing with K-pop, uh, with many different, uh, you know, concert or performance around the world with uh, like a, a diplomatic, uh, you know, relationship establishment, a special uh, bilateral, you know, program. Uh, we've been introducing this KPA many times. Uh, at, at original stage, we are just trying to do like, a, you know, business type of thing uh, with a good, talented, young uh, idol group, uh, boy and girls, and with a good entertainment uh, agent and, and good platform for performance, and also uh, good uh, you know international uh, touring uh, you know project. So uh, it was done by very uh, entrepreneurship way of thing in in first stage of K-pop, like almost uh, two decades I think. Uh, 
with like SM, uh, YG, or you know, uh, JYP, uh, the early stage of this K-pop. But in one point, uh, there is widespread uh, you know, attention and, and uh, they, they, many people around the world, they like it, particularly like China and uh, Japan and uh, Southeast Asia. So we are surprised that such a big hit, you know, uh, and uh, uh, many uh, fans around the world, uh, particularly in Asian uh, countries, would like to see and you know, listen to or follow uh, those songs and uh, idol group. You know, they become just a really idol in such a short period of time. So this will trigger this K-pop industry uh, is, is big boom, right? Uh, and you know, you know, in a positive uh, and swift way, like SM, YG will become uh, one of the biggest, uh, even conglomerate, conglomerate type of uh, uh, company and corporation. Uh, so this is a leading area, and uh, now K-pop uh, could be considered the one single important factor to lead this so-called uh, uh, Korean wave, Hallyu, or general uh, positive image of Korea. Uh, it, 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 it was uh, popular in all around the world, you know, you name it, you know, Asia, <laughs> uh, Middle East, even Africa, uh, Europe, uh, America, you know, whether it is uh, Northern America or Southern America, you know. Uh, Every country or young people would like to listen to and uh, follow, uh, you know, this uh, K-pop and you know, uh, dance uh, uh, in in every corner of the world. In uh, particularly, uh, like uh, you know, BTS recently a big uh, uh, hit around the world, and also top uh, level in you know uh, music chart. And particularly Billboard, uh, they are now uh, putting uh, you know subcategory in many uh, music subcategory, right? jazz, you know, and uh, hip hop. They put the K-pop as a one single subcategory. Uh, that means that uh, I heard from one uh, you know uh, officials from that Billboard charter, and uh, she said that uh, K-pop will become. Uh, this unique genre, uh, I think, for next uh, uh, several, you know, long period of time, you know, we like a very sustainable. That's what uh, she said. So, I think uh, we'll have a good chance to make this K-pop will be a continuing uh, conduit for uh, you know Korean lovers and you know Korean. Uh, attraction uh, to, uh, to around the world, particularly young people and next generation. It will be followed by K-drama movie, uh, right? And, and also it will trigger the, the attention to Korean traditional art, music. Um, and also uh, we think that Korean people are very talented in music, art, uh, including like vocal music or classic music. Uh, so uh, general uh, cultural uh, boom and attraction was uh, widespread around the world. And uh, many uh, contemporary art and fashion area uh, is uh, you know, coming together with this, uh, with K-pop and K-drama. And uh, we, uh, as I told you in the beginning, like Arirang uh, is one single uh, very important song that uh, folk song that uh, almost all Korean people, uh, you know, has been singing together, uh, even in North Korean people and South Korean people, or seven million diaspora around the world. You know, we uh, with this one song, uh, Arirang um, is a uh, you know, having one uh, oneness of Korean people and uh, making this network. So, uh, Arirang is a song of uh, uh, like uh, uh, loving some people and also like, uh, you know, grievance, uh, many mixed uh, feeling of Korean people, 
right? We have been struggling uh, with a lot of, you know, uh, aggression from foreign countries. Uh, there is uh, always a very sad memory of uh, separation or fighting or grievance. But uh, at the same time, we never forget loving each other, right? So people's affection and compassion and, and love, uh, even though there is a hard uh, suffering and endurance or uh, perseverance, uh, Korean people are prevailing with this kind of uh, achievement and abundance. So I think Arirang is quite unique song. Uh, this Arirang was uh, uh, recorded as a you know, uh, UNESCO World Intangible Heritage. When I was director for cultural affairs, uh, I put this Arirang in UNESCO. I vividly recall that uh, you know, the conference room of uh, UNESCO, um, when it was decided by unanimously by uh, executive board of UNESCO, uh, I was there. And uh, when it was uh, adopted, uh, our one uh, you know, big singer has been performing this Arirang uh, just uh, in front of all uh, diplomats around the world. So I recall vividly that Arirang. Uh, so it is very moving, uh, you know, timing. Gangnam Style, uh, <laughs> you remember everybody is, uh, you know, uh, watching and with the music video, you know, uh, one of the top, uh, you know, hitting uh, record uh, in the world with, uh, you know, horse dancing is typical uh, brand of Korea even, right? And uh, also recently BTS, uh, uh, in, in contestably, this is uh, one single group which covers uh, you know, all parts of the world. Uh, and we are very proud to see BTS type of thing. BTS is quite unique in, uh, in, in comparison with the other uh, idol because uh, BTS is, uh, is uh, like uh, almost uh, 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 omnipotent you know, uh, idol. Uh, there is no any division of work, you know. All members of BTS uh, is doing uh, dancing, singing, you know, uh, and good visuals, you know, they are doing all together. So I think uh, it's, uh, uh, I can say it's a culmination of uh, K-pop. Uh, around the world, uh, there are uh, almost 150 uh, Korean embassies around the world and consulates general, and there is uh, 25 cultural center, uh, they've been producing a lot of uh, cultural program around the world to attract, uh, you know, many people around the world to uh, share uh, Korean cultural heritage. Uh, at the same time, uh, in every 10 years of uh, establishment of diplomatic relations with certain country, we have a two-way uh, exchange program of all cultural, particular cultural activities, including education, you know, other uh, area of like conference on uh, technology or, you know, diplomatic thing uh, or foreign policy. So this is celebrating particularly, you know, cultural uh, exchange program. So we are promoting Korean culture and, and vice versa. Uh, so I, I believe this cultural uh, uh, area is very important. Second part is uh, uh, economic achievement. You heard about the you know, miracle of the Han River. Uh, this is uh, one single important achievement that Korea is very proud of uh, to, to the international community. When uh, we uh, make some uh, you know, poll to, uh, to international audience, what is your first impression on Korea? You know, what makes you uh, think, uh, you know, one thing when you think about Korea, what is your first impression? What is your first uh, image on Korea? Uh, many, uh, almost all pe foreign people are talking about uh, economic miracle, you know, economic achievement. They are saying that this is a one or second uh, you know, top uh, region and top uh, image of Korea. And they're also doing uh, like a Samsung or big company, you know. 
So they are, uh, when they think about Korea, they always think you know, this economic achievement and economic development a uh, very important factor, right? And uh, also Korea is known as like a, uh, information and communication technology country. Uh, and uh, one of the most wired uh, country in the world, right? In terms of internet and also the single uh, incontestable, the fastest, uh, you know, uh, internet system in the world. Right? And we've been commercializing this uh, so-called 5G system uh, first time, uh, you know, as a first introduced in the world. So uh, this, uh, I'm very happy to uh, see that this ICT, uh, you know, advancement and, 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 and coupled with this cultural achievement, uh, our uh, national image has been uh, drastically increased. So, uh, and also Korea is the first country in the world which has been transformed from recipient country to donor country, right? Uh, this is unprecedented achievement uh, during last several decades, right? Uh, and uh, nation brand has been increased as I told you in the previous chapter that the, we are in 10th place in recently announced 2018 nation brand order. Um, and uh, we are also very proud to uh, show you the so-called national brand. You know, I, I, I talk about difference between nation brand and national brand, right? A nation brand is uh, the brand of nation itself. A national brand is uh, some very famous, uh, the landmark uh, or symbolic uh, brand of that particular country. For Korea, uh, as you imagine, Samsung, LG, Hyundai, um, SK, right? Uh, those are big uh, national brand. Uh, so uh, we we have been increasing those uh, national brand. Um, so this is a uh, symbolic. ODA or official development assistance. We've been increasing. This ODA uh, after we joining OECD as well as a uh, DAC uh, Development Assistance Committee. Um, you know, when we talk about this economic miracle, many countries would like to uh, approach uh, to Korea. So, what what is the secret of Korean development? What is the secret of Korean success? Uh, it's not easy to answer in, in one sentence. But I think uh, uh, we can uh, give some uh, hint to the particularly developing countries and underdeveloped countries because they would like to achieve their economic you know, advancement like Korea. Uh, so uh, we've been saying uh, several uh, you know, points. One is a very passionate uh, you know, uh, education uh, you know, uh, uh, plan or, or, or uh, you know, uh, attempt to uh, get the highest level of uh, education from early stage of our you know, education system uh, with the passion of parents and students itself. And also uh, Korea's leadership in 60s, 70s, or 80s would like to have very systematic and strategic or visionary economic development plan uh, in every five years, right? And particularly in 70s, uh, that is the uh, early child stage of our Korean uh, uh, economic development. We are putting on this very important area like, you know, uh, chemical, uh, area or steel or automobile or, or you know uh, very uh, uh, heavy industry uh, we are we are focusing and also we are putting uh, highways or infrastructure uh, you know in 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 terms of uh, ordinary uh, uh, textbook or of uh, economics uh, it's, it's not easy to make uh, such a a visionary or too much ambitious, you know, plan. 
or strategy. But uh, I think uh, our leaders at the time uh, made a very visionary plan for uh, our next generation. So it, it, was, uh, it was done. And uh, around that time also we are focusing on like motivation. I, I think this is important to uh, give a general sense of national commitment that uh, we, we could overcome this poverty and uh, if we can work hard and we, if we are united and, and if we have a better uh, knowledge and with education, we can overcome and we can be rich and we, we don't have to leave this poverty to our next generation, our children. So I think this uh, consensus of national achievement and uh, development is, uh, is another important factor. So now uh, Korea is enjoying uh, 11th and 12th largest uh, GNP in the world with the uh, fifth largest exporting country in the world. Uh, so so I, I think this is economic area. Uh, and third one is uh, uh, mil uh, po a political area with the democracy and rule of law. With the advancement of economic uh, development, um, almost all Korean people would like to have uh, this uh, uh, political liberty and freedom, uh, full fledged democracy, because they believe that this system is important in uh, uh, protecting their earnings or their income that they uh, have achieved with their own investment and their own hard working, right? Uh, we need that system uh, to protect that, uh, you know, uh, personal income. Uh, and uh, we, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, are coming to the street to, to have a strong, uh, you know, uh, manifestation, a uh, demonstration that we need uh, this democracy, full press democracy as early as possible. So it was done, right? In the middle of 80s, uh, we have a national consensus to have this uh, democracy and to respect uh, human dignity and human rights. And uh, we respect the rule of law or democratic institutions and freedom of uh, uh, media and freedom of uh, religion. So. Uh, Many uh, Western countries, uh, there is one uh, institute in like Netherlands, I, I think uh, they are estimating that uh, Korea's advancement in a democratic process is uh, much higher than even Western democracies. So uh, this is a very proud part. Uh, this open democratic institutions with the rule of law and good governance uh, is important factor that many countries around the world would like to follow it, right? As, as a, like a role model, as a, as a target or goal for their eventual uh, society. Uh, so uh, I'm very proud to give a you know, good example to international community that uh, Korea uh, is uh, following or leading this democratic process. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I think uh, this uh, open society and democratic society will give a good score and public diplomacy. And I personally confident that, believe and confident, you know, this is good uh, public diplomacy asset for Korea. With all those, uh, you know, uh, cultural, economic, uh, political uh, achievement, uh, now Korea is, uh, is, is uh, positioning uh, one of the uh, advanced country and leading country in the world, uh, you know, in diplomatic context. So this is diplomatic area. Mm, Korea is a, a member of G20, right? And uh, uh, also we are involving many different uh, multilateral uh, you know, uh, undertaking, like regime, uh, APEC, East Asia Summit, ASEAN Plus 3, uh, and trilateral, uh, you know, consultation mechanism with uh, China and Japan, 
uh, and also MICTA, uh, five countries uh, association or, um, or you know, assembly of uh, solidarity, uh, Mexico, uh, Indonesia, Korea, Turkey, and Australia. So uh, with this uh, very proud uh, advancement in economic, political, or social and cultural area, Korea uh, can lead any agenda uh, in, in the world, uh, particularly in multilateral setting, like UN, United Nations. Uh, United Nations has been working for peace and security of the world and the development and human rights and rule of law and humanitarian assistance. So in every agenda, Korea can play a leading role. And, and sometimes uh, Korea is playing a very pivotal role to setting a specific uh, new agenda, right? Uh, in, in the area of like uh, good governance uh, and uh, rule of law uh, on those area with this uh, full uh, fledged democracy. Uh, particularly like, uh, you know, sustainable development goal that uh, uh, have been, has been adopted by Development Summit in 2015, um, in goal 16, uh, there is a unique goal. We call it peaceful society, access to justice, and uh, uh, inclusive and accountable uh, institutions. Uh, in those uh, particular goal, Korea is leading uh, with the establishment of so-called uh, 16 plus. So we are undertaking uh, like-minded countries to uh, move this agenda ahead. And in education area, goal four, uh, we've been working to promote many uh, education-related agenda, particularly like uh, global citizenship education, uh, which is a very uh, important emerging uh, agenda in education around the world. And the women uh, and uh, climate change, a partnership, uh, so uh, many uh, countries around the world would like to encourage Korea to uh, have a leading role on those uh, particular new and important agenda. Um, and and, and uh, as, as a senior uh, Korean diplomat, I'm very proud to uh, take this kind of role. And. Uh, Another reason why we are uh, proud in, in taking this leading role in diplomatic area is because uh, uh, we don't have any negative uh, history, uh, historical you know, uh, burden or uh, negative record. Uh, we, we, we don't have any record to uh, make a, like aggression or occupy or colonial uh, you know, uh, record in, in our history. So uh, we are uh, really peace-loving country. Uh, we'd like to give a good, positive influence to our neighbors and also uh, in international and global setting. Uh, finally, uh, I'd like to tell you about uh, you know, the, the character or nature of Korean people. Uh, how do you think, uh, you know, Korean people's, uh, you know, general attitude or character or, you know, special point? Um, of course, there is always, you know, positive and negative aspect. And uh, many people with uh, K-pop or many uh, tourist attraction, many people now is traveling to Korea, uh, having business or, you know, working or even like uh, intercultural marriage. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, many people are staying or traveling in short term or, or long term. So um, it's, it's uh, difficult to hide, you know, <laughs> and, and the character of Korean people. We, we are totally exposed and too much uh, revealed to uh, international society. So uh, I think it's inevitable. Mm, uh, there are several uh, characters, you know, it's difficult to uh, define by ourselves, but uh, in, in general, uh, Korean people are very, uh, you know, kind and, you know, good, 
and uh, diligent, right? And uh, creative and, and talented in those art music sports. And, uh, and also I can say that uh, it's very, uh, you know, forward looking uh, and, uh, and uh, resilient, you know, we, we don't care about uh, hardship, you know, we are trying to uh, uh, go uh, any place around the world if uh, that, uh, you know, movement is meaningful. And, 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 and something uh, to be desired. Uh, so uh, I, I, I like these Korean people's you know, particular nature. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, if you know a little bit about Korea, maybe you heard the uh, two uh, words that Korean people are you know, doing uh, a lot. One is uh, uh, fighting, you know, this is a very uh, uh, unique and interesting wording that Korean people are using, you know, almost every day in, uh, before we do some important thing or uh, before we take a very important, you know, uh, uh, exercise or undertaking or activity, uh, we, uh, this is a typical way of uh, expressing our solidarity uh, and, uh, you know, uh, 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 encouragement, right? Uh, so uh, I think uh, in in Webster uh, dictionary, maybe in fighting, there are many different definitions. But uh, I can say we can add one more definition that this is a typical uh, way of uh, Korean people in in uh, doing uh, like encouragement to each other, right? So this is new definition on fighting. Uh, but I heard uh, many uh, foreign people who are, have been living in Korea, they're using this fighting, you know, together like Korean people. And also another uh, expression that you may heard about is "괜찮아." Uh, "괜찮아" is, uh, you know, literally could be translating as uh, "it's okay, uh, no problem, you can do it again." Uh, when uh, someone is, uh, uh, you know, failing or or could not achieve uh, something in, in first uh, attempt, we always, uh, you know, uh, give uh, a lot of applause and, and괜찮아, you know, uh, it's okay, it's, you can do it again. Uh, this encouragement uh, is uh, typical. So uh, we are very, uh, you know, resilient and we are trying to do again and again to achieve something, right? Uh, and uh, another uh, important character is uh, we, we have a sense of community of Korean people. Uh, traditionally, uh, this sense of community could be uh, understood as a, you know, like a, a nationalistic way you know, to, uh, to have our own community and to block uh, the engagement of you know, other, other people are coming from different cultures. But these days, uh, I think as we are uh, internationalized and globalized, and many people, uh, Korean people, have been you know, studying and traveling around the world, uh, we, we've been you know, opening our minds and hearts to, to the uh, you know, foreign people as much as possible. So uh, we, we, we've been understanding you know, um, the culture of other people, and uh, we can say that this we we've been uh, you know uh, advancing toward the uh, like you know open society um, and also respecting different culture or different religion or different civilization different customs uh, as we are living together in in uh, south korea uh, with the uh, all foreign people uh, so I think this is still uh, one, uh, you know, task we have to overcome. How we can live together peacefully and without any problem, as a like uh, you know mosaic uh, society uh, with uh, mainly Korean people, but at the same time, uh, you know, people are coming from different cultures around the world. Uh, so this is a. Uh, um, the, the, the task that we have uh, to make uh, 
uh, to achieve uh, you know, unity uh, under the diversity, but at the same time diversity uh, under the unity. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, the, the area that uh, you know, we have to tackle in the first, uh, in, in the future. Uh, another important concept that I'd like to introduce to you, uh, I mentioned briefly in previous chapter, uh, the, the, the concept of Hongi Gingan, as, as, I, as you see in the title. Uh, the Hongi Gingan is quite unique uh, concept, which has been uh, inherited uh, to the Korean people for almost several thousand years. Um, we don't know exactly when this uh, was uh, started, but in uh, three countries, you know, period, uh, in Silla, Goguryeo, and Baekje, and followed by Goryeo, uh, one dynasty. Um, this concept was literally uh, giving benefit uh, to the whole, uh, you know, uh, people around the world. So, uh, broadly, you know, uh, we, we don't focus on ourselves. We would like to give uh, profit, benefit, and uh, grace to you know, all people around the world. This is uh, uh, the, the, the motto and uh, vision of Korean people. So Hong Yi uh, could be used, I think, in the future as a good public diplomacy asset for Korea. I recall um, several years ago when uh, then uh, director Executive Director of UNESCO, uh, Irina Bokova, visited Korea, I think uh, I recall it's 2013, to celebrate the 60th anniversary of establishment of uh, UNESCO Korea Commission. Uh, she uh, said in uh, her uh, congratulatory message to, uh, to Korean audience that uh, she, she said that uh, Korea is well known as a country of Hongi Gingan, you know, she said in, in this way. And at the same time, uh, she said that uh, Mong Min Simso of uh, Jung Ya Gyeong, right? Mong Min Simso is how to teach the, you know, civilian or general public um, with the, you know, prism or perspective of uh, Jung Ya Gyeong uh, in a very practical way. Uh, in, in modern times of Korea in Joseon dynasty. So the fact that the uh, uh, director, you know, executive director of UNESCO has been mentioning Hong Yi Gingan is that this is a concept uh, which is, is it's not easy to find in the, you know, long history of any country, right? Uh, several thousand years ago, Korea uh, has been promoting this concept even at the time, you know, to share uh, some good things uh, with other people and with a sense of compassion and empathy. Uh, this is quite unique, uh, you know, uh, so-called, we can say it's nation brand, right? Uh, so this was an encouragement uh, by uh, Executive Director of UNESCO I think uh, we, we uh, can and should uh, promote this Hong Yi Gingan and together with uh, Mong Min Simso that uh, even uh, Madame Bokova mentioned, you know, Jung Ya Gyeong. Um, so our tradition is trying to give uh, the people uh, um, have a sense of, uh, you know, good community and sense of uh, good civility and sense of good humility, uh, humanity so that uh, we can make uh, one community, uh, which is quite good. Uh, I, I believe that uh, this is uh, uh, the positive element of Korea, um, and eventually uh, in, in our you know, diplomacy, public diplomacy, Korea would like to provide a good asset uh, you know, uh, to all uh, uh, country around the world, uh, we will give definitely good cultural asset 
with the K-pop and more contemporary and, and, and current art. And uh, in cultural areas, one uh, important thing is uh, like, uh, you know, Korean language, right? Uh, many young people around the world would like to learn Korean language. Uh, the, the, the motivation of uh, creating a Korean language, as, as you see in like a Hong Yikingan point of view, or Mong Min Sim's point of view, uh, the King Sejong uh, in uh, uh, like uh, middle of you know uh, 1545 uh, or you know those area, uh, King Sejong uh, would like to introduce and create this new language uh, because of uh, in Hun Min Jong Um, uh, you know uh, the the book the how. This Korean language has been created and you know uh, introduced. Uh, Korean uh, language, Hangul, is known uh, only country, only language in the world, which has uh, uh, the the which produce, which has the you know record of how this language has been uh, created. You know uh, what is the function of uh, those alphabet? You know something like that. Uh, one of the most scientific language in the world. At the same time. Only language in the world, which is uh, uh, the method and you know uh, process of this creating this language, it has been uh, uh, recorded uh, in a in a with the book. So Hun Min Jong Um in in the first half of Hun Min Jong Um has been saying that uh, because of uh, uh, the difficulty that ordinary people cannot communicate their uh, heart and uh, they would like to say something. But with the difficult language coming from China, um, ordinary people cannot express their uh, sometimes sorrow or their claim and their grievance. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the reason why King Sejong uh, is, has been making this uh, Korean language, uh, Hangul. Uh, so this is very uh, good advancement of cultural thing, but at the same time, uh, the why this language has been introduced with uh, confession and you know uh, affection uh, of Korean people. Uh, one single uh, word that we've been using to represent Korean people's uh, character, we call it Jung. Um, you know, it could be translated as a, like a strong affection. Um, this is a much deep concept uh, covering uh, compassion, love, or friendship, uh, but um, it's, it's not easy to define. But I think uh, if you learn Korea more, I think you will get what Jung uh, means. Uh, and uh, eventually, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, with those all positive things, we don't want to just to, you know, show that uh, we are very proud, you know, uh, look at Korea's uh, achievement, but I don't think this is what we are trying to do. We would like to share our achievement with uh, uh, the country uh, which you'd like to follow, you know, Korean uh, step uh, and path. Uh, we would like to provide assistance and uh, working together uh, with collaboration uh, so that those countries uh, could enjoy cultural achievement and follow economic, uh, you know, footstep, and also follow this democratic achievement. So uh, we uh, work, would like to work together, and we'd like to help people in need uh, and the country in need. Uh, so this is, a, I believe, that good public diplomacy asset. Uh, we'll do our best to make Korean. Korea and Korean people, a real friend to international community. Thank you very much.